next is the hydraulic design of the sewers here the hydraulic design of the sewers uh, here the, um, uh, the whatever the sewers are there that is been uh, designed uh, so what is this hydraulic uh, design of the sewers means the size size of the sewer that is sewers is nothing but pipes pipe to transfer the uh, uh, the waste uh, sewage water mm. that uh, waste water is whatever it is there uh, that sewer design mm, that is called as hydraulic design of the sewers these uh, sewage uh, that is usually transport through the this uh, sewers that is usually mostly uh, it is 100 percent the water only sometimes it may contain small percentage of some sort solid consider the sewage water it may consider uh, consisting of some rice uh, some of the uh, organic material which can be settled at the bottom some of the soils hmm? solid matters or any organic matters and said any uh, salts or any um, soils or any minerals that can be sedimented at the bottom but that is very very small percentage that is lesser than one percentage hmm? hence uh, these uh, uh, designing of the sewers uh, uh, this uh, designing of the sewers is usually done uh, for the uh, for the designing of the pipes hmm? there will be two different type of the design of the sewers one is the presence of the solid matter and another is the non presence of the solid matter hmm? so this uh, another is uh, pressure hmm? there may be a pressure in the water or there may be non pressure in the water so that depends upon the, the uh, amount of the water if there there is a more water the more pressure will be there too much of the pressure will be there on the uh, water for the movement of the sol sol uh, liquid so this may be very small or this may be very high the pressure may be very small or pressure may be very high hmm? This hydraulic that depends upon the the slope, the slope of the uh, slope of the uh, water is very uh, small means the movement of the water will also be very small. If the slope of the water is very high means uh, the movement of the water will be very high. So this hydraulic grade, uh, gradient line lies very the above the pipe surface on which uh, the other hand the most of the cases the sewers may be considered as open channels or the sewage may runs under the this under the gravity flow gravity flow means just uh, by uh, by providing the slope it will flow on its own mm, there is no pr no pressure no hand is required for uh, allow to flow the uh, liquid mm. the sewers uh, or hydraulic gradient line falls within the sewers hence the sewers may be laid at a continuous uh, downward gradient and uh, sewer will be run under its own pressure when they design for the main purpose hmm. so usually next uh, the uh, for the designing of this uh, hydraulic sewers there is the uh, many uh, formulas empirical formulas are there which we have studied in the uh, hydraulics hmm. so that uh, uh, hydraulic formulas are the chisis formula first one you can see on the top of the uh, frame first one is a chisis formula second one is a couture's formula third one is a basin's formula fourth one is the manning's formula uh, fifth one is a crims or broke formula sixth one is hassan and williams formula fifth and sixth is not much uh, important you can leave that but first four chisis couture's formula and basin's formula and manning's formula these are very these four formulas are very very important and you have to remember and you are very familiar in the uh, hydraulics also fm and hydraulics what you have studied uh, there you are familiar about all this uh, formulas judges formula and manning's formulas are very familiar where they these formulas are repeatedly there hmm? even uh, basin's formula and uh, kutus formulas are also there but uh, this uh, manning's and judges formula will be used for the most of the uh, formulas hmm? So let me come for the first uh, Chess's formula. You can see that Chess's formula first one. Mm. So V is equal to C root of Rs. 
where what is the v is the velocity of the flow that should be meter per second mm. where c is the which is constant it's a constant mm. that may be uh, with a different number mm. so next is root of r into s what is this r and s so yes you can take it as directly hydraulic radiant or slope of the sievers yes reference for you take it as slope but r r is not r r is not uh, uh, radius don't ever take r as a radius and yes as a slope r is mean hydraulic gradient or hydraulic mean radius hmm? uh, hydraulic mean radius or you have to take it as mean hydraulic radius m is uh, that is uh, referred as r is equal to a divided by p so a is the area you can see here formula okay here mm. so r is equal to a divided by p a is the area p is the perimeter so if you keep a one uh, one rod so surrounding rod where you hold the hand on the surface of the uh, rod that is the perimeter mm. that will call it as surface of the any so any material is known as uh, perimeter mm? that is the outer surface mm? if you take uh, 30 40 side means how the 30 40 side uh, the outer end uh, you will walk on outer end mm, so that is called as perimeter so two times of length and plus two times of breadth mm? length and the breadth is the area two times of length and two times of the breadth if we add together that will give the perimeter so that is what the outer circumference mm. so that is what the p so that's about the just this formula next uh, is couture's formula couture's formula uh, uh, couture's formula is uh, c is equal to 23 plus 0 0.00155 divided by s plus 1 divided by n where what is the s means yes you can take directly as a slope n as the that is a coefficient okay hmm? n as a coefficient don't take n as a slope here, here the whatever you have studied in the previous the whatever the constant you have studied so leave it but here whatever i say is hmm, the same constant you keep on remembering yes refer for slope n refers for coefficient okay divided by so numerator divided by 1 plus 23 plus 0 0.00155 divided by s yes. yes refers for slope n divided by root r where n is coefficient where r is mean hydraulic gradient or hydraulic mean radius both are same hmm? mean hydraulic gradient or hydraulic radius okay m is equal to or uh, r is equal to r r is r is equal to r is equal to a divided by p hmm? area divided by p don't forget hmm? so that is hydraulic mean radius m or a hmm? So that is a uh, Kutto's formula. Next is uh, Bezin formula. See here, Bezin formula is equal to uh, C is equal to 157.6 divided by 1.81 plus K divided by root R. Where K is a Bezin constant, where R is the mean hydraulic gradient, or you can call it as hydraulic mean radius. Both are same. In uh, hydraulics, you have used as a M. Here, I have I will use as R. Okay. So. Mm, because uh, the formula uh, it remains like this so if you write like this only uh, the invigilator will come to know easily if you write m and all uh, so it looks uh, different for invigilators so better you write like this only here r equal to mean hydraulic gradient so you have to or mean hydraulic radius both are same so where Bezin's constant business formula is equal to c is equal to 157 157.6 uh, divided by 1.81 plus k divided by root r so that is the Bezin's formula hmm. next is the the Manning formula uh, so Manning formula is equal to so you are very you frequently you have used one v is equal to 1 divided by n into r of root uh, uh, r, r to power of 2 by 3 s to power of 1 by 2 so s to power of 1 by 2 is nothing but square root of s so r to power of 2 by 3 is nothing but cube root of r square hmm? so uh, that we have written like this while well, but when you are writing when you are doing the problems you have to be very careful r is the mean hydraulic gradient or mean hydraulic radius um, that 
is r divided by 2 to power of 3 and s is s to power of 1 by 2 so don't interchange so in examination we, they will get confused if they don't if you don't practice practice uh, frequently used of this formula means and if you don't solve the problem so how to uh, you after putting the value of r and s you will not get the exact value of for the uh, v hmm? so better practice uh, for the problem based on this hmm? so there you only you will make a mistake hmm? so r refers for uh, mean hydraulic gradient or mean hydraulic radius where s refers for uh, slope uh, yes refer for slope and uh, n is a couture cost couture coefficient or you can say uh, constant hmm? it is a constant uh, or a coefficient which is being used in a manning's formula so i will not go for uh, crims and the brooks uh, and the hassan and william formula so uh, fifth and sixth are uh, non-important so i'm leaving that but you concentrate mainly about these four formulas.